Hey everybody, this is Brandon from betteratEverything.info. On today's quick little video, I'm going to show you how to use the revision cloud command. Uh, this can be used to show that uh, revisions have been made or should be made to an area of your drawing. Um, I guess you could also use it to just draw a cloud. <laughs> um, the command is under the home tab and under the draw menu. And you can see the little picture of the cloud. It's on the bottom row, second one from the left. And you can see when you hold it over, it shows you a little example of what it's going to do. It's just going to create that red bubbly cloud of arcs. So you can click the command to start it, or you can type in REVC for revision cloud, and that should bring it up as well. Hit enter. It's going to ask you for the start point of your uh, cloud. Um, I'm going to adjust the arc length here. I'm going to type in A for arc length. And I'm going to change the minimum length of the arc to, let's say, 10. And the maximum to 20. This is just random. You'll want to play with these settings depending on the scale of your drawing. Um, and now it asks for a start point. So I'm going to click here. And you can see that that size works pretty well. And it's going to follow my uh, cursor around where I'm just moving the mouse. I'm not clicking or anything. It's just doing that automatically. And when you get close to your start point, it's going to finish it. So now you have a closed cloud that's fully finished. Um, and all it takes is the one click to start it. You can select it and you can fiddle with the arcs if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to show you that again. So we're going to bring it down from the draw menu. Click the cloud, and this time we're going to change the arc length again. And we're going to double it. So we're going to use 20 as the minimum, and 40 as the maximum. And I'm going to try this property over here. So now you can see bigger arcs. But other than that, same deal. Closes off automatically. And there you have it. That's how to create a revision cloud in AutoCAD. Uh, my version is 2012, but it's been the same since they introduced RevCloud um, quite a while ago. So, if you got any questions, post them up below, or check out my website, betteratEverything.info, for a ton more tutorials and some free uh, title blocks. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Cheers.